Hello everybody, my name is CB and you are watching Clean Games. That's right, this is the very first episode of the series of Clean Games. What we do here is that whenever there is a swear word in game or in commentary, we will take it out. Of course, there's a very low chance that you'll actually hear me swear, but that's pretty much what we do. That's what I do, but um, yeah, this is the very first series we're doing. We'll see what we're liking it. I just picked up Gauntlet, which uh, technically that probably has none, if not at all. So it's going to be kind of an easy one for me, but we will venture into more mature titles later on, as well as some good old-fashioned favorites. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Please comment down below, and let's get this started. We're going to play just by ourselves this time around. Uh, we're going to start with normal because playing by ourselves is really hard. As you can see, I'm Mastery 7. I have actually been playing already uh, a little bit here, but uh, let's, let's start a brand new playthrough through everything. Now, I bl I'm curious here if I'm going to start with the third act or the first act. You can pick whichever one you want to go to, which is really cool. Let's see here. Do I have access? I have access to all four. Oh, that's awesome. But yes, uh, with this character, uh, cool, they have a little shop menu here that I just bought these new boots and they're freaking awesome. Uh, let's, I want to equip this and I haven't equipped this yet. Hold on. Let's see here. Equip RP. Alright, cool. I agree. I definitely will. Okay, well, we're going to start off with level one and go from there. So let's see how fast I can do this. Let's see how you fare against the power of the dead. A cursed tomb. No doubt filled with ancient warriors. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. To my legend. I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly. Um okay, I'll let you keep talking. Sheesh, let me talk. A commentator. No, um, I'm not really 100% sure uh, what the potions do, these little blue guys. I think it lets me use my special abilities, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Yeah! I'm so good. Warrior is awesome. He is a lot of fun. See, and you can kill the food, you can eat the food, I prefer to eat the food, but right now I am good. So I do not need to do anything else, but... The interesting part is, is that it doesn't look like the monsters get more tough with, um, with multiplayer, it just seems they grow in, in quantity. So, interesting. Awesome, 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 awesome. Nope, that is not awesome. That is not what you want to do. You want to get that awesome. You don't want to do that either. Darn. Awesome, 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 awesome. There we go. Isn't that fun? There we go. Okay, don't want to open that door up. Uh, if you have a key, you don't want to touch that one. And gold is very important. Gold very much buys you all of your fun little side items. Definitely worthwhile to get that. And the thing I like about a, one major thing I like about this is that it actually levels up as you go. So it's like you can keep doing this over and over and over again, and things will still keep leveling up. Even silly things you won't even think about. See, now they're gonna go concentrate on that for a while, and I'm gonna go beat on that. See, gotta love this stuff. So I have confirmed that it actually the potions do do that. Oh, don't want to go near that. Get away, dude. Now, if you do not kill these things, they will just keep on spawning. No, I don't want to. See, if I get too close to that door, that, that wall, it will open that up. And that's the last thing you want. As well as get away from that guy. 
Trade camp! That wasn't that easy. So you save up that, you can get all this stuff. Sweet. But we're going to try and do this for a little bit of time, so I'm going to keep on going. Hey, I got touched. Yeah, and the food I want to mention too is not that fantastic. It's not like it's, you know, very overpowered food. So you could be really hurt. Take this and you still won't be like fantastic. And also that does that helps too. La 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 Chop down forest, chop down forest, chop down forest made of meat. No, don't blow me up. Blow him up. There you go. Ooh, that's actually fun. Blow up! Sick! On here in clean games, we do actually, I do try my best to keep everything as clean as possible. But truth be told, there's going to be a lots of things that I just cannot control. And it would take me years to edit out violence. So it's pretty much my job, in my opinion, to basically make this as nice as an experience as possible for people who like that kind of thing. And I am a person, I am a person that has two kids at home and I watch them when during the day. So the last thing I want to do is hear a bunch of swear words all day long. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Especially when you're trying to teach them stuff. Call me crazy. Give me the new one. Give me the new one. I'll go take this for now. So you get that. See, look. See, now that was a bigger one. That still didn't even bring it to full. So it's not, it's not a ton. But I think it's a fair amount. I don't think anybody would really say that that's an unfair amount they give you. Now this, I wanted to try to destroy this. The food was destroyed by the mighty warrior. And as you see there, it totally narks you out, which is actually... Oh, I don't want to destroy the potion that I don't want to destroy. Oh, that was stupid. So this is my B1. This is my... So I'll just right here. See, they go up trying to attack that. Try attacking me. And then it goes up to it, blows them up. Oh, really? Get hit with that? Junk. Oh. Okay, let's keep on pushing. This game is, you know, I'm going to call this game, it's kind of like golf in my opinion. It's like, it's nowhere near as fun unless you're doing it, unless you're playing it yourself. Guys, if you're unfamiliar, this game costs $19.99 at launch. Now, I don't know when you're watching this video, but at launch game for 20 bucks from a company like the WB, you know, these are the kind of things that we need to cultivate. We need to take these games that are doing really well and actually purchase them because if we do, maybe they'll get the trend that, hey, you know what? Maybe it's kind of nice to not spend $60 on a game, but maybe spend 20 I mean, this game offers tons of content, tons of play replayability for the low cost of $19.99. That's the kind of prices I can get a hold of. It's like, it's like, it's my job to basically, you know, show these games off and play them. But it's really be nice if I have to spend sixty dollars to do that. But what are you gonna do? And I'm sure a lot of you back home would love to play your biggest and latest greatest games, and not have to spend every inch of your money to do so either. Okay, if you want to stay away from that, oh, it's going to get hit. So I'm going to leave my other one. See, look, so as you can see here, this is my fast one. That does not last very long, but if you need to get away quick, that's pretty awesome. I want to open it! 
Ah, uh, you stink. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go, bomb. You are no match for me. Ah, this game is just so incredibly fun. It's like, like I said before, it's exactly like golf. I think, from what I understand, golf is extremely fun to play and really boring to watch. So, tell me in the comments, is this game you, something you'd like to actually me to keep playing, or is this something you think is a little bit boring? Because I personally think this game is tons of fun to play. But sometimes it's, you know, you get out, you get all wrapped up in playing, you know, and realize, like, hey, no one else is watching each other. Man. There's also, there's multiple classes that you can actually play. This is one of the four. This is, this is the warrior class, Thor. And the crowd goes there is a wizard class, which, in my opinion, is a little bit overpowered. I mean, like, it's, I mean, it takes a little bit to, you know, to learn the mechanics, but once you do... I mean, he is just an absolutely invaluable class. One thing I think is underdone is a little bit is the uh, the elf. The elf is really underpowered. He is very, you know, for being that class that you know is like the dodger. He basically can only take about two hits before he's dead. And the big problem I don't like about it is that you have to use the twin sticks for everything. I mean, like. I would love to rebind that because it's like, oh man, it just drives me nuts. Try to do that. So, because of that, because they kind of force me to to do that role the, that way, I have to adhere to it, and I don't really like that. I would love to be able to base, basically make it where my key, I can make my keys the same everywhere. This is a nice thing to this crown that I just shot in the oblivion. I'll get that back in a bit, even though it kind of lagged into oblivion right now, which I'll be really upset if it did. Because the crown basically means that when you go, oh, it did, it lagged into oblivion. Oh, you stinker. So, what the crown does is that you get the crown, you wear the crown, when you are struck, the crown, crown falls off. If you can get the crown in the, in the clear, which is actually right freaking here, you get a special gold bonus, and gold is what you use to purchase all those wonderful goodies at the end of the match. And how good you do is based upon you know what kind of gold you get. So, as you'll see here, you see the floor cleared. All right, let's see, see, and now you get to level. Oh, I get to level that up. So now I get a 7% chance to find gold and destroy props. Next one I have to kill is, uh, I think that's max level. Oh, I'm gold on that, okay. So bronze I have to 10% chance of food. Ooh. So if I get four or 5,000 props, the gold amount goes from 50% from to 100%. Now that is just, that's pretty awesome. I think by 5,000, I will probably be done with the game, and it probably won't matter. I think that's the reason they do that. <laughs> that's the only reason I could think of. What's that thing doing here? It's not time yet. I would run if I were you. You cannot defeat death incarnate. Oh, death incarnate. These are a very interesting, very strange way they get they do things, but it is it's kind of interesting how they do it in this one. Uh, Death Incarnate is pretty much a constant beast who, who constantly will just come and wreck your day entirely. You cannot kill him, you just need to avoid him, and he just spawns like that. Yeah, he doesn't hurt the mo other monsters, he just hurts you. So he, he's a jerk like that. And these, um, I, when I played my first playthrough with the wizard, it was very different playing with these guys because it wasn't that hard. But this one seems to be a little bit tougher because the ghosts really womp your butt. So as long as you can put your, uh, put distance from yourself, but see, the problem is you got those ghosts. 
which doesn't seem that bad, but you know, can be can be pretty bad. So here's the crown again. See, watch, see, bam. I got my crown now. Get my key. See, you could go this way and get out quicker. Now you may lose a little bit here, but you're always timed. So time, and this one time means a lot. See, now everyone wants to join him and not worry about me. And it also blows everything up, which is actually extra fun. So we're going to go for a little time here. I might lose a little gold, but I'm not in really any kind of big search for gold right now. It's like, of course, there's always things you can get and stuff like that. But I want to see what it's like to put myself some real distance. So now I need to... Oh, these guys take... Oh. Let's see, now this one... Says, see? Keeps popping off constantly. Ah, you stink. All right, so we got to get here. Ugh. Those guys just take way too many hits. So, you're probably going to see me uh, bite it here in a minute. It's going to be my first death on here, which is kind of nice. You get to see what it looks like. So, here's one a key, two a key. You got to keep on going. I'm not doing very good here right now. And here's the final key. Here we go. Come on, chicken dinner, chicken dinner. Come on. Come on. Chicken dinner. Oh, no. This is not looking good for me. Oh, jeez. Treasure. I just want to keep waiting for that big, that big one there, because that's the only other thing I got. See, this actually ruins your time. Boom. Take it there. Come on. You big, incredible big minis. I just want some chicken. You guys are so mean. Give me my chicken! Seriously, he's like inside the guy. Get away from the cat! No! You see what I mean? Give me, give me up, give me up. Give me, give me. Uh. There we go. Everybody, everybody. Oh, really? I claim my bounty. I'm getting my crowd, man. I'm going through all this junk to get the dumb thing. And they still haven't given it to me. Oh, man, the dialogue is just terrible <laughs> it's very very campy like the original was I never played the original but that's what I was told the original had a lot of the arcade edition had a lot of fun little cool quips like that I 
Obviously, when it comes to the death rounds, you cannot hit death. You, you, right now, I can't because I'm melee, but trust me, you can't do it anyways. He won't let you do it. Uh, what was that? I didn't know what hit me. I claim my bounty. Give me my stuff. I'm still 50% done. Good news is, is I'm making coin like crazy. And this is the clearing it. So my time won't be great. But I cleared it anyways. 26C and I got the crown bonus which gives me an additional 393. So here, as you see here, I have now killed more pots on my way to beginning 5,000 props. Holy moly. Hard Jerry, take 1,500 cumulative damage as a warrior. So if I take lots of damage, the warrior replenishes itself every 30 seconds. Every second below 30%. That's awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Okay, so right now it's at 20. You want to take 15,000, it goes to 30. Maybe it goes to gold and it goes even more than that. So it gives you lots of reasons to keep playing it over and over and over again, which is just tons of fun in my opinion. You just can't you can't argue with that with that. You're still alive. Welcome to the scene of your Give me my crown. Let the games begin. Feels like home. Yeah, that's right. So you don't want to eat it all your dinner because. Unfortunately, in this game, the bad guys and yourself can actually destroy the food. If you do destroy the food, you don't get it. Obviously. This is a kind of a cute little thing they always did in this. So here's where it gets really interesting because they're now going to have a ton of them. So you need to get these things down as fast as possible. So I got hit there. I'm gonna go here. Okay, time to do that. By the way, what you're looking at, what I was, what I was doing before, is what's called a relic. So, take that big chicken. Ooh, it's good stuff. Chicken, 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 chicken dinner. Okay, I'll just take this, because this is going to be the last part of the mission here. And don't forget, guys, when you think about this, is this too easy? This is actually the normal difficulty. There is hard, and then there is unfair. Which is actually just scary to think about when I think about what unfair would even look like. So I'll just take that. He'll blow up. Or he should be blowing up. <laughs> that took forever. Yep. That's my little daughter. She thinks she wants some food. That's okay though. We're going to clean up and get some gold first. Yummy, 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 yummy gold. That's what I'm going to feed up on. Alright, the floor is cleared. Times five. See, let me get that nice big fat bonus. Uh, look at that. Wow, I got ten grand now. It's cool. So this is basically to show you this is currently my best one that Ron I've ever done. Uh, you're looking at right now as I am 20... 424th score for that. Speed run 5,442nd. That's actually not bad. That's my personal best. Alright, I'd like to take this time to thank everyone for sitting by and watching Clean Games. 
This has been the first episode of Hopefully Many. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thankfully, there wasn't any kind of profanity to limit out this time, but next time we will have some games that we'll definitely will. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been CB, and you've been watching Clean Games. See you later.